Hey everybody. Today we wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the junior high and senior high youth gatherings here in Iowa District West. Uh, I'm Pastor Tom Schlund. I'm the Dean of the Junior High Youth Gathering and here with uh, Pastor, Pastor Chris Nitzel. Pastor Chris Nitzel, uh, Dean of the Senior Gathering. We should almost have a, a stick or something as far as like changing for talking as we do right. this through Zoom. <laughs> right. Figuring out the Zoom uh, way of recording a video, but uh, glad to be here together this today to give you a little bit of an update on how uh, the gatherings are going to run this fall. Uh, Pastor Nitzel, things have uh, changed a little bit in our world here recently, right? They certainly have. We are all in this together and trying to figure out how to do life and ministry in the midst of a pandemic. Right. And we wanted to... Um, be creative here with the junior high and senior high gathering. We knew um, it probably wouldn't be best to all come together this fall um, just to make sure that we were able to to be safe and you know depending on where you're at in the state you have different kind of concerns with this and um, I know from the junior high gathering team we're also concerned financially for people you know if you've struggled with losing a job or you know your church is kind of going through a tough time we didn't want to add this financial burden on there. So uh, we have been creative, I think, and have two great opportunities, both for the junior high and senior high gatherings um, to bring you God's word and give you a fun time with your youth group, uh, but in a way that you can stay at church, or if you're not even able to come together at church, uh, that your youth are going to be able to use uh, at home. So uh, do you want you want to talk a little bit maybe about the thought process that you guys went through and making your decisions too? Yeah, absolutely. For us, uh, the the senior gathering committee wrestled with uh, how could we potentially put on uh, our gathering with all the aspects that we love to do so much with uh, nightlife uh, sectionals, and we just couldn't come up with a way without knowing what things are going to look like. And so we didn't want to leave you guys without a ministry tool to continue to do ministry in the pandemic. And so uh, we're creating an event for you that you could, Hey, you want to say hi to everybody, Caleb, quick, <laughs> say hi, wave. Hi. <laughs> yeah. We wanted to give everybody a ministry tool so that you could still be doing ministry together. And so we're creating an event that you can determine uh, how you use it uh, based off of what is going on in your area um, with uh, the, the pandemic. And so uh, it, it will be a, a tool that you can use for either in person or in your home based off of what you decide. And it's going to be a, a pared down gathering one night event that you could join us live. It's still going to be the, the same Friday night. We were supposed to be Friday, November 20th, um, or you can go back and rewatch it or redo it at other times. The key things that we're going to be having, including our, our main speaker, Shelly Schwalm, we're going to have some time with Tanner Olson. We'll have music with Isaac from Camp Okaboji. And uh, just to give you an idea of what that will look like, uh, Pastor Tom is going to put up on the screen uh, what our events are, are planning to look like. And we're going to have everything for you. We'll have the opening devotion. We'll have game ideas. We'll have then that streaming time together. And then we'll have stuff to close out the night. And so uh, it'll be up for you guys to determine, is it safe for you to maybe gather as a circuit at one place to do something? Or is it just for your own youth group? Um, that'll be up to you guys, but we're excited to, to be with you. And that way this year, we'll also have prizes and things for you that we'll be able to hand out. And it, there will be minimal cost to you in this. The only cost that might potentially be there would be uh, if you're able and want to order t-shirts. So Pastor Tom, tell us a little bit about the junior gathering. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think I shared the wrong screen at first, but now hopefully you can see the, the right one with your, your schedule up there, right? Yep. Yep, awesome. So uh, we're kind of in the same boat uh, as, as Chris, you were talking about, uh, wanting to provide a good ministry opportunity for you with your, your junior high students too. Um, we are going to be on that same a Saturday night, October the 17th, that uh, we had originally planned on. Um, but the nice thing about technology, like Chris mentioned, is that uh, you can do this on a different night too, once it's been streamed and recorded. And so uh, we're going to provide a, a neat opportunity to gather together. Uh, we're taking a little bit of a step out, you know, at the junior high youth gathering, we typically run through the 
the six chief parts of the catechism. And so this year we were supposed to be looking at the Ten Commandments. And we're going to be pushing that theme off to next year. And we're going to be uh, taking a look at identity um, and talking really about the question, who am I? Uh, just because with all of the things that are going on uh, with the pandemic and everything, it really can kind of make us wonder and, and ask that question and figure out, you know, our identities have been tied up in all of these activities that we've been doing that are now canceled or postponed. And so um, we really want to be able to talk about that. Um, let me put our schedule up here too. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Sven and Sven and Dean are going to be able to, to join with us again, uh, which we're excited about. Uh, we'll have the opportunity for uh, music. We're going to have an opportunity to talk more about this idea of who am I? Um, and then we'll have some other activities that you'll be able to do together as a group. And so um, we're really looking forward to this first ever <laughs> virtual gathering, uh, knowing that it's not a perfect replacement, but uh, we pray that it is a blessing uh, for you and for your youth. And so I don't know. Any other thoughts, Chris? The, the thing I would add is we hope that this isn't permanent. We are hoping to get back into in-person, and that's what we're planning as for a committee for the next year. Uh, last year, we had put in place where 2021 was going to be our off year, but we're going to do an in-person gathering in 2021. We'll have the national gathering in 2022, and they're still planning full speed ahead as well. And then we'll have a gathering in 2023. And as long as things uh, continue to go in the right direction, getting through the pandemic, we can then switch back to that other schedule. So uh, just a heads up for you ministry leaders as well, that as you're planning, thinking about fundraising, stuff like that, there will be in-person 2021, you got national in 2022, and then in-person again in 2023. Yep. And we're in that same boat of going back to live and in-person stuff in the future. It is always good to be able to, to gather together and and we really do pray that uh, our time apart doesn't last uh, any longer than it absolutely has to. But uh, I'm thankful for technology that allows us to do things like this video today, but also allows us to do uh, the virtual gatherings. Uh, you'll be receiving more information in a mailing from the district office uh, that will give you a poster and will give you uh, more information about how you're going to access uh, all of these materials uh, as the time gets a little bit closer. And so mark your calendars for both of those days, uh, October 17th for us and November November 20th for us. 20 for the senior gathering um, and make plans to join us virtually for those things. Um, I would say if you have any questions about the junior high youth gathering, uh, feel free to send me an email. Uh, my email address is pastorschlund at uh, trinityalgona.org. And uh, we'll put that up on the screen here so that you can see it. And for Pastor the senior Ditzel. gathering, uh, my email is revchris at tcaexpress.net and would be happy to, to answer any questions in those ways. Yeah. So, well, God's blessings on your fall and uh, on all the work that you're doing. And we look forward to uh, seeing you together with us for the, the uh, junior high and senior high youth gathering. God's blessing, guys. Know that you're in prayers, and we so look forward to, to being with you and doing ministry together. Can you wave and say bye, Caleb? Wave and say bye. Wave bye, Caleb. Say, say bye. Yeah, you, you already said that. Wave and say bye. 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 <laughs> bye. Yep.